Hi everyone and welcome back to Perimas Kitchen. I am Selina. My daughter is Shavaya and Shavaya and I are making some fish biryani today. There are so many variations. Everybody has their own technique. I will share with you my method and I hope you try it out. Let's get cooking. I've taken two and a half cups of long grain basmati rice and I've washed it thoroughly. I'm now just adding boiling water a few sticks of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of turmeric so we want to parboil our rice bring it up to when it's almost done and while this is boiling let's move on to our fish marinade half a teaspoon of roasted dhania powder half a teaspoon of jeera powder half a teaspoon of turmeric a teaspoon of masala i'm using nagia's everyday masala followed by chili powder you can use hot or mild chili powder i've added 1 teaspoon and a teaspoon of salt and this is enough mixture for a kg of fish So I'm using barracuda today. Fresh barracuda. And these are lovely slices. What I love about barracuda is that it's quite a firm fish, so it's easier to handle and it just has that center bone. I've washed my fish and now I'm adding fresh lemon. Half a lemon. I'm just squeezing out all the juices. For the purpose of the video, I'm using a very flat platter. but i am still effectively able to get that juice all over next you can add a heaped teaspoon of garlic if you've got the ground ginger and garlic just use that as well and then again just evenly rub it all over your fish you can then literally spoon some marinade onto a plate or in a bowl and just make sure all of your fish is coated and the amount of ground spices i used for the marinade is enough for a kg of fish also ensuring there's no wastage make sure to apply the marinade on both sides of your fish And once you're done, cover your fish and leave it aside and give it some time to absorb all that beautiful spices. And try to ensure that you get this done prior to starting your cooking process. Let's now move on to our lentils. I've cleaned and washed 3 quarters of a cup of lentils, so approximately 200 grams. I'm adding my boiling water. as well as salt to taste and some fresh thyme you can also add some turmeric just to give it a lovely color less than half a teaspoon of turmeric is fine and while our lentils are boiling let's move on to frying our fish i've added my oil and you need to wait for it to get hot Here's my beautiful marinated fish. The barracuda looks stunning. I'm now going to add one at a time and add it away from you to avoid any splashing of oil. I'm using a very wide pot to accommodate all of the fish and so it's evenly placed in the pot. As a guideline, I usually fry my fish for about 10 to 15 minutes on the first side, and when I flip it, a further 10 minutes. Try to use a very wide or flat spoon when you are flipping your fish, so that we don't break it. But if it does break, don't worry; it just adds to the flavor. 
and when you are serving it's going to break anyway once you've turned them all over we're going to let it fry for a further 10 minutes on the other side and if you have any fish stuck to the bottom of your pot that's just going to add to our flavor because we're going to use the same pot to braise our chutney i'm now ready to remove the fish use a slatted spoon to remove any of the excess oil all this oil is going to be used now in our chutney so if you are frying your fish use the same oil if you're doing it separately like in a pan then just transfer the oil to your pot and braise your chutney in the same oil let's not waste all that delicious yummy flavor so I've just placed my fish aside. You don't have to put on a roller towel. You can still use all that yummy flavor left behind. While it's resting, we're gonna start braising our chutney. If you need a top up of oil, do add some and wait for it to get hot. I've just added some cinnamon sticks, half a teaspoon of jeera seeds, and about three whole cloves. If you have ground cloves, you can use that as well. And if you're using clove powder, you only need a quarter teaspoon of clove, followed by some bay leaves. I'm also adding fresh thyme and a stem or two of curry leaves. And let that fry in the oil. I have two onions that I've sliced. I'm gonna use most of it now and leave a little behind, which I'm gonna saute in some butter and oil and try to caramelize it slightly so we can add it to the top of our biryani for our presentation. So I've added most of it now and we want it to fry together with all of our whole spices and fresh herb. And once your onion is slightly translucent, we are ready to start adding our ground spices. First, a teaspoon of jeera, our cumin powder, followed by a teaspoon of roasted dhania powder, our coriander, half a teaspoon of garam masala, followed by one teaspoon of som. A leveled teaspoon of ilachi powder, that's our cardamom, and a teaspoon of turmeric. Next, I'm adding my masala. I'm using Nagia's everyday masala, and I'm adding three tablespoons. Followed by my Kashmiri chili powder, you can use mild or hot, and I'm adding two tablespoons. Mix all of your ground spices into the oil. Just for a few seconds, turn down your heat if you need to. And I'm going to add my jam tomatoes, which I've liquidized. You can also grate them if you wish. I've liquidized eight jam tomatoes. Half I liquidized with a handful of mint and half on its own. First, I'm adding the half on its own. So about four liquidized tomatoes, followed by my combination with the mint. Always add a touch of water when you are liquidizing. In different dishes, I use different herbs, but in fish biryani, I love mint. Add a teaspoon of sugar, and this will help to balance the acidity in the tomatoes. Mix everything together, and then you can add salt. Add enough salt for your chutney. Remember that we have added salt to our marinated fish as well. Followed by some freshly cut coriander and mint. I used about two handfuls of coriander and two handfuls of mint, and we want this all to simmer together 
in the chutney. I will let it simmer and then I will also add some garlic cloves. I don't want it to melt in the chutney so therefore I add it a little later. The whole garlic cloves are optional. You have added garlic to your fish as well. Please check on your lentils and I'm going to show you quickly what I do with my onions. I first add 3 tablespoons of butter. Allow that to melt. You can quickly microwave it as well if you wish. But because I'm going to fry up my onions, I'm just doing it on the stove at the same time. Once the butter has melted, add most of it to your bowl and leave a little behind. We're going to use that when we're frying our onions. So I've kept a little bit of butter in my pot. And as soon as it starts to simmer, you can add your onions. I also add a dash of oil. The butter is for the flavor and the oil is for the caramelization. So my onions are ready. I will set it aside. I'm going to add some garlic cloves to my chutney. And once it's ready, I'm going to start layering my fish. It's been about 5 to 10 minutes. My chutney should be ready. Give it a final mix and check if your garlic is ready. Yes, it's ready. So I'm going to start layering my fish now. I'm now adding my fish one at a time. If you want to add some fried potatoes, you can do that. If you want to add some boiled eggs, you can halve them and then add them to the chutney as well. Today I'm going to enjoy just my beautiful barracuda. Once you're done adding all of your fish, make sure you scoop all that lovely chutney on top of all of your fish. I've drained my lentils and I'm going to layer it on top of all of the fish and the chutney. Distribute your lentils evenly throughout. And once you're done, just give it a slight pat down. Next, I'm going to add my basmati rice. I have taken a bowl full of rice out and added some egg yellow coloring. I've left that aside. And once I'm done adding all my rice, I'm then going to add my egg yellow rice. Again, scoop it on. And make sure it's evenly distributed throughout the top of your rice. I'm now going to add my butter. And the circular motion just helps me ensure I get it right through evenly. I'm now also adding my caramelized onions. If there are any that are too dark, you can just take them out. Add some fresh mint and then close your lid and let it steam for approximately 10 to 15 minutes on a very low heat. You can also steam your biryani in the oven for a little longer. I don't like to leave it in for too long because it does tend to dry out. But within 10 to 15 minutes on the stove top, it's done. It looks fantastic. And the combination of the spices with the lentils and the rice made it such a comforting, satisfying meal. The fish was still so succulent and moist. I really hope you try this recipe as well. And if you do, please let me know in the comments. As usual, all the ingredients used in the recipe will be found in the drop-down description below. Kindly subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new video is uploaded. Please like and share. And your comments are always very welcome. See you again soon in Perima's Kitchen. I am Selena.